I find your and the White House lack of transparency intolerable and an obstruction to this committee's efforts to conduct oversight. That begs the question, what are you hiding, Mr. Park? That was Georgia Congressman Paul Brown grilling former White House Chief Technology Officer Todd Park during this rather intense hearing on the botched rollout of Obamacare, healthcare.gov. Park insists he had little involvement. I'm going to bring in the Congressman now out of Georgia from Capitol Hill. Sir, how are you and good morning to you? Fine, Bill. Great. Interesting hear uh, hearing, rather. Here is what we heard, rather, from Todd Park about his role. I was not a project manager who was managing and executing the day in and day out operational work of building the new healthcare.gov. I didn't have the kind of comprehensive, deep, detailed knowledge of the effort that a hands on project manager would have. So he says you've got the wrong guy. What did you think? Well, I, this is just a further example, Bill, of the lack of transparency of this administration, and it's intolerable. We asked Todd Park to come to our committee five times. We eventually had to subpoena him, and then he gave us that kind of verbiage that you just played in your, in your clip. The reality is he briefed the president. He briefed the White House over and over again. It's apparent that everybody within the the CMS, as well as in the Office of OSTP, the Office of Science and Technology Policy, were looking to Todd Park for this rollout. We saw just recently, y'all reported on Fox about the rant that uh, Michelle Snyder uh, gave, reported in a in a in, a, in an email to Todd Park, and uh, apparently that came from Marilyn Tavener. We can't get the information. We've subpoenaed hmm. Mr. Park, finally he came, we've asked for records. We've gotten very little, and, and, and per, personal identifiable information is, is going to be available. GAO just two months ago said that this website is not secure today. And it's, this is intolerable, and it was our responsibility to continue to try to find out something about it. If it's not secure, people are still signing up, as you know, because the enrollment right. period is now underway yet again. You were trying to figure out ultimately, though, whether or not the White House knew that the health care website was so bad before it went public. Did you get an answer? We did not. In fact, we asked Mr. Park over and over again. We tried to find out who was responsible. It was just hell-bent on getting this website operational on October the 1st, and we can't get those answers. Well, um, they're saying he was not involved, and I don't know where you go from here. Well, he absolutely um, but, was involved. What, what's your next move? Well, I'm leaving Congress in January, so hopefully whoever, in fact, I expect the committee will continue to look into this, try to get a uh, full disclosure of what happened, because it's our responsibility under the Constitution to do so. And Mr. Park, the whole of CMS, as well as OSTP and the White House, have been not forthcoming. They're Evidently, their definition of transparency is total opaqueness. They've done everything that they could to try, try to thwart our efforts to find the information for the American right. people. So two uh, other points here. With the enrollment period now underway, the administration says the website's it's running smoothly. And, and what, what you're saying is that it's still not secure for personal information. Now, what is it? is it? Is it A or is it B? Well, oh, <laughs> part of the administration... GAO just in September put out a report saying that the website healthcare.gov is not secure. It's not secure. It has not been secure. We've got to protect people's privacy and their personal identifiable information. And that's what we're trying to get at. And we cannot find who is responsible. Uh -huh. uh, Did you? Mr. Park obviously was right in the middle of all this. And you heard the denial that he made yesterday. Right. Did you ask Mr. Park whether or not it was safe for Americans to sign up now? We did. In fact, he said that he considered it safe back in October of last year. What kind of a farce is that? He was just giving us a bunch of mumbo jumbo saying that he did not have any deep, detailed information, but the White House was looking to him. The, the people in CMS were looking to him. The people in OSTP were looking to him. He obviously had direct responsibility, and he denied all that. Mm. That's the reason I ask him, what are you hiding, Mr. Yeah. Park? And, what do you think and that he's hiding a lot. What do you think that answer is then? Well, I really don't know, and, and it's 
impossible to, to have my suspicions, but it's impossible to really know at this point who was responsible. We do know this. When the website was rolled out October 1st of last year, that it was not secure, that it was a debacle, HHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius even herself said it was a debacle. Mr. Park yesterday admitted it was a debacle. It's still a debacle. It is not secure. When people go on that website today, put in their personal information, their most private personal health care information and financial information, it is not secure today. Sir, thank you for your time. Um, thank you, Bill. I hope you're wrong about that. If people are signing up and they're making themselves vulnerable, Paul Brown, the thank you. The says it, not just me. Yeah. Thank Republican you, Bill. Republican from Georgia, you bet. Thank you. Nineteen. Thank you. Past. God bless you.